Hello and welcome back to episode 12 of our New Zealand Millefore Paint Along. I'm Helen Godden and where are we going to paint today? Looks like we're going to paint the beautiful Tui bird. Jumping in with that beautiful secret weapon jade because the Tui has got a beautiful sheen on his head. I'll throw in a picture here from um, Mr. Google so we can have a little look. Beautiful little bird. So this colour is just perfect for those uh, glistening feathers on his head. The pewter for the next round of feathers. Try and get that shape definition down the bottom of each feather layer. You've got to get those lovely round scalloped shapes. I think I've made them a little bit longer than in the design. This is our metallic rust, that lovely chocolatey colour. Now the Tui has got a funny round, I want to call it a crop, but I'm not sure what it actually is, just underneath his um, throat. I think it helps him with his tune that he plays. Uh, I might paint that next, I'm not sure. I am, and it's white. There we go. It's quite a distinctive feature of the Tui. Back with that secret weapon jade. Now you can see how I use the shape of that brush to really help me get those feathery shapes and then fill in those little bits to make the scalloped top edge. bit more of that metallic rust just to finish off the bottom edge of his wing adding some little black dots with the black paint now that can be with your sharpie but not until the paint is completely dry if you use your sharpie on the wet paint your sharpie will be a one-time use only kind of pen so wait till it's dry I know you've got to be patient uh, and then add those little marks for the feathers. Now I've got the pearl blue and doing some of his tail feathers. I think there's going to be a mixture of pearl blue and indigo for his tail feathers. That's what it looks like to me when I look him up on um, the all-wise, all-knowing Mr. Google. Carefully painting in and around those little shapes. And now the indigo, which is more like a denim blue, a dark, dark blue. It's a very beautiful colour, particularly next to the metallic rust. It's very nice, very nice combination. So there we go, finishing off his chest with the indigo. Now this is the halo violet gold, that funny mushroomy, pinky, grey, goldy colour. Really nice for his beak and I think we'll use that on the legs too. There we go. Bird's legs are really awkward little things. I tend to try and cover them up with foliage and flowers but you know. So the background I've decided is turquoise. I 
Now you can of course paint your entire piece different colours to me. You do not have to follow the same colours. You're most welcome to, but you do not have to. In fact, I love seeing people's variations. Again, that little black gap just gives definition of all the different shapes. Now the emerald for those leaves, there's probably a little bit of the turquoise left on my brush, that's okay, it just gives it a little bit of variation. I checked the pattern, that leaf goes on top. Oh, I'm swapping colours to the secret weapon jade because I just can't get enough of it, let's face it. It is the perfect colour. If in doubt, Secret Weapon Jade. Lovely. That looks like it. And there's our Tui. Terrific. See you soon.